Now here comes a clinical scenario for you. A farmer who comes to the OPD, he says that sir, I am having blurring of vision for last one week. And when we take history, he tells that there is a history of animal tail trauma. A cow basically hit him with his tail in the eye. And when you saw the patient on the OPD, he has this type of anterior segment photograph. When we did the corneal scraping, on the microbiological analysis, we get a scraping like this. So the question is, what is your diagnosis? So friends, here the diagnosis becomes fungal corneal ulcer because of the microorganism that is aspergillus. Now very important is, whenever you see a fungal corneal ulcer, what are the various important clinical features that you should remember? So from this image, what you can see is, that the most important thing when you see a fungal corneal ulcer is that you think about the satellite lesions. So there is a main lesion, there are satellite lesions. Also, this is a dry looking ulcer, unlike of a bacterial corneal ulcer. Plus, you can see here a immune ring of Wesley. So this is your immune ring of Wesley. And also, you can have feathery margins of the ulcer and you can have a thick hypopion which is convex in its configuration. So these are some very, very important points you should remember regarding the fungal corneal ulcer.